<laughs> what the hell am I doing with Alan's coffee brandy? Well, I'm not drinking it. Hey folks, I am the Mighty Plantain and I am not drinking Alan's coffee brandy tonight because we've got Alan's cold brew coffee brandy. <laughs> yes, a new take on one of my least favorite beverages. Um, cold brew coffee is becoming more and more popular. Allen's Coffee Brandy has actually been eclipsed in sales by both Tito's Handmade Vodka and um, Fireball here in Maine, but with the caveat that that's in dollar amount sales. In terms of sheer volume, Allen's is still outselling both of them because it's less expensive. So, just a little, little, little trivia on the state of Maine. Um, I've never been a fan of the Allen's. It's, it's not completely awful it's just mostly awful and then there's the the image that goes with it my god everybody who likes that stuff is so trailer park fabulous and everybody's gonna have it um anyway <clears throat> we're not gonna get up on that that subject today today we're talking about alan's cold brew coffee brandy which as i was leading to saying earlier i think the cold brew thing is kind of a, an attempt to cash in on the cold brew coffee trend and maybe get some of the, those sales numbers, sales dollars back into Allen's, um, not into Allen's pocket, but into the, into that company's coffers hair, to use the antiquated term. <laughs> All right. So made with real cold brew coffee, regular Allen's is made with real coffee. So here we go. A small batch and handcrafted 30% ABV. So 60 proof. Uh, prepared and bottled by Allen's Limited in Boston, Mass. Same company that does the regular stuff. Handcrafted in small batches using real premium cold brew coffee for an authentically smooth flavor. Has notes of smooth milk, chocolate, caramel, and vanilla with a reduced bitterness and acidity. This balanced and delicious coffee flavor is perfect on its own or is an addition to a variety of classic cocktails. So, I'm thinking this is basically just a... a a new and updated version of the coffee brandy, and you would mix it with what you normally would, which for most folks here in Maine is just, just whole milk, you know, trailer park mudslide. And I got to say that the cold brew coffee thing is really kind of cool. I've had a few cold brew coffee beers. Um, this is the first cold brew coffee liquor I've had, other than Jägermeister cold brew coffee, where they basically took Jäger and added cold brew coffee to it. And I gotta say, I can actually smell the uh, the coffee flavor, for, the coffee aroma from here. So it it smells like Allen's. It smells the same as Allen's, maybe a little more um, licory. <laughs> that makes any sense. But no, the cold brew stuff is, is a little bit um, less acidic. It does have a smoother flavor, and I've actually come to come to enjoy it when I do have it as a flavoring and something, especially in, in a beer. Don't get me wrong, there's nothing wrong with a coffee porter, coffee stout, even a, a coffee IPA. Yeah, two different types of bitterness in one beer, pretty damn good. But the cold brew stuff seems to lend itself to a more smooth uh, blending of the flavors. And it, sometimes I think a, a strong coffee flavor. So it'd be interesting to see what they've done with the Allens on this. Actually looks a little more syrupy than the regular stuff too. Not, <laughs> no real light coming through there. Um, there is a bit of a, a multicolored rainbow oily sheen on the top. Maybe it was just a trick of the light. Yeah, definitely an oily look to it, but I'm not getting the rainbow color that I was seeing when I had it at an angle with the overhead and underneath lights. So, yeah, it definitely smells more boozy. Although the, the regular Allen's is at 60% 30, you know, 30, 30 percent 60 proof. My God. I'm having trouble tonight getting my thoughts in order, apparently. Is that coffee? Ugh. 
ooze, and there's this weird dankness to it. Hmm. That's interesting. Not musty, but dank. I would not have expected that. Hmm. Syrupy sweet up front, all coffee, and then boozy in the finish. It actually burns a bit as it goes down. <clears throat> as it sells, though, yeah, there is a smoother coffee flavor, maybe a hint more sweetness than I get from the regular Allens. And I'm pick, picking up a little bit on that, the chocolate and vanilla that they mentioned. But it's more like a vanilla extract. I don't know if you've ever drank vanilla extract to get drunk, but um, I was a teenager once, so yeah. Um, <clears throat> anyway, it finishes a bit like vanilla extract would. Yes, it's it's a strong memory. I've done it once. All in all, if I if I had to pick a favorite between regular Allens and this stuff, I think this would slightly edge it out. I still dislike it for all the same reasons I would like Allens, but honestly, it's it's got a stronger coffee flavor. It's got a little bit more of a syrupy sweetness to it, and it does have those subtle vanilla and chocolate notes in the finish that that are worth checking out. So, you know, if you like Allens, give it a shot. You know, it, it's, I think it's a slightly higher price point, like a dollar or two more per bottle. Um, but it's worth, it's worth investing in. I mean, you can pretend you're drinking the classier version of Allen's, if there is such a thing. So, <clears throat> what most people do, as I said, is mix this with uh, whole milk. I don't go that route. <sighs> I'm going with chocolate milk, but this is whole chocolate milk from one of our local dairies. Now, this has been shaken up ahead of time. If you get these flavored milks in the, the dairy case and you look and there's some of the uh, the flavored syrup has settled to the bottom, I always shake it up, get that flavor right back into that chocolate milk. There we go. Oh yeah, they're not liking the mix too much. <laughs> uh, but it's happening. That's an interesting effect. I could stir it, but you know what? I like the swirls a little bit, so here we go. That's good. That is good and mocha flavored. Mm. Chocolate, coffee, whole milk, smooth and delicious. See, when you throw this in with other stuff and mellow it out, it's actually pretty pleasant. It gives the things a nice coffee flavor. I mean, you can make mudslides with it. You can make Kahlua with it. You can do, well, you can't make Kahlua, but anyway, it's basically like a trailer park, a cheap ass version of Kahlua. But this, the whole milk, Allen's Coffee Brandy with chocolate, cold brew, pretty damn good. I would recommend this any day, but you got to get the Oakhurst whole milk, chocolate milk. Mm. Yep. There's a reason I finished that up. <clears throat> I think that's about good. And that's enough from you. Well, there's coffee flavored milk. <laughs> We're going to see how coffee blends with coffee. Oh, 
this stuff is amazing. Oh, I haven't been able to stop drinking this lately. I've been getting like one or two a week. Um, yeah, trying to cut back on calories and it's not helping. Uh, there's 430 in this container, 440 in this one, 430 in that one. So you definitely pay for getting the whole milk nutrition wise, but it's still whole milk. It's dairy. It's good for you. Just don't go crazy. <clears throat> that is awesome. <clears throat> I'm joking because it went down the wrong pipe. <clears throat> Not because of the flavor. That is delicious. I'm loving the coffee flavored milk. This just kind of gives it an extra little punch with that nice cold brew coffee flavor. And then the fact that it's boozy as well means you can get drunk off of something delicious. And this this, folks, is why they call I, I don't know, coffee brandy fat ass in a glass around here. I mean, it's got some other names too, like liquid panty remover, etc. But fat ass in a glass is 100% accurate because people will mix it with the whole milk and they will drink it because it tastes like fucking candy. And next thing you know, <clears throat> you're doing that every weekend. And instead, of, it's worse than beer, honestly. It'll put the pounds on pretty damn quick. PDQ. Anyway, that's pretty damn good. I'm still not a fan of Allen's. For all the reasons I've mentioned before, you guys know that. That ain't never going to change. But I will throw them a few bucks once in a while for this stuff. <clears throat> for my viewers. And this is not bad. This is not bad. I hate to admit it, but... Ooh, pardon. Just in principle, though, I will not be throwing money at Allen's. But if I have to, <laughs> for the sake of a video, I would rather give the cold brew than the regular stuff. But that's all I have to say about it. I think I've said a little bit too much, actually. Um, let me know what you think about the Allen's cold brew. Is it better, worse than the original? Do you not care? Do you uh, have no vested interest in it either way? Hit me up down in the comments, the email link down below. Love to hear what you have to say about it. While you're down there, don't forget to like and share this video. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. Until next time, folks, thanks for tuning in. Cheers.